Something like, hey my guy It's Mac with the cheese, hey my guy Seven percent downgrade for the next five miles. Let's get it. I was here before. I didn't make it down the hill. This is when I had that oversized load, like half a bridge on the back of my fucking truck, and uh, it was a mandatory brake check. That's where I just came from. I was doing my mandatory brake check. Maybe somewhere in this video, I will demonstrate that for those of you coming into the game or for those of you in the game but don't know what the fuck you're doing. Hey, today, Guilty718 is going to show you how he does his air brake check, okay? Hold on. It's going to be special, I think. All right? When you're with your examiner on test day, and it, uh, before you to do your road test, you have to do a brake check, an air brake check. Okay, um, so what you want to do is make sure your seatbelt is on. Mine's not on because I already got my CDL. Um, you want to make sure that your wheels are chopped. Ch chop, chop. You want to make sure that your wheels are chopped. And when you put this bitch in neutral or some shit, it's not going to roll the fuck down there during your air brake check. All right? So, all right. Seatbelt is on. Click, click. My wheels are chopped. My, uh... Air pressure, I'm up above 100 PSI. I'm currently at about a buck 25 maybe. Yeah, about 125 PSI in my primary air tank and my secondary air tank. All right, so what you do from here is cut your engine off. You kill it. But be sure, and a lot of people fail the air brake test like this. They'll cut the fucking engine off and just leave the key and the truck in the off position. Which you have to do, and be mindful of it. I've watched people fail because of it. You turn the engine off, but then you turn the key back to the on position. That way, you have electricity to your dash and your gauges. How are you going to perform the air brake test without having power in your gauges? From here, you want to make sure your ketchup and your mustard are pressed in. That's your parking brake and your trailer brake, all right? You can ask the examiner if he has a timer, you wanna put 60 seconds on the clock. In that 60 seconds, you're checking to see that you lose no more than four PSI, all right? Your PSI, your air gauges. Mine might be different than yours, that's why I'm not zoomed all the way in here because it ain't gonna make a fucking difference to you. Some people have, is air tank one and air tank two. You have two different ones. Mine are on one gauge. Two different needles, but in one gauge, all right? So from here, you have your 60 seconds on the clock. And you hold on to dear life to the steering wheel. This is how I was taught. And you put all your fucking weight on the brake pedal. And you want to make sure that you lose no more than four PSI, okay, in your air tank. I'm not going to lose that. So we're just going to act like I held down this brake pedal for 60 seconds. Okay, I didn't lose more than four PSI, all right? Next, you're gonna pump the brake pedal. And when you're doing that, you're looking for audio and visual cues to let you know that you have low air pressure. So you're looking for your low air pressure warning. There'll be a bing, bing, bing. And you should see a light or something indicating there, you know, for your visual that you have low air pressure. And that should happen at around 60 PSI, okay? So let's get the pumping. Mine's came on at about 60, 60 PSI, okay? What else? Now, you need to keep pumping down the brake pedal. And your trailer brake should pop out and your parking brake should pop out between, what is it? I believe it's 20 and 40 PSI. These should pop out. They should pop out at the same time. You know, one of them pops out at, like... 40 and the other one pops out like fucking 30 or something like that but between 20 and 40 both of them should pop out so you keep pumping they came out at about 45 they came out it lets me know 
that they're gonna come out if I'm in a jam, okay? Now, from here, you crank the engine. And when you after you crank the engine, it should take no longer than 90 seconds for your air pressure to build back up above 100, 125 PSI. You hear that thing? It's still dinging because I have low air. Now, you can ask your examiner if you can speed up the process, meaning that you would press down the accelerator and keep your RPMs between 12 and 1500 just to speed up the process. Okay, so before, like I said, around before before 90 seconds, your air pressure should be back up above 100 psi. Say that, don't say that. You can also do a tug test. A tug test is gonna let you know whether or not your trailer brakes work and if your locking jaws are locked around the kingpin. You don't want to pull the fuck off and your trailer not be hooked up to your uh, fifth wheel just because you think so. People at truck stops will fuck with you. Alright? So make sure that shit is connected and that your trailer brakes work. What you would do is press in your parking brake and release your trailer brake. Pull your trailer brake out, okay? Put it in drive, and you just wanna tug on it. That's why I call it tug test. You wanna make sure that you're locked in back there, you're good money. So now that my parking brake is pushed in, my trailer brake's pulled out, do is step on the gas a little bit. Not going anywhere. Not going anywhere, all right? Now, you want to check, see if your brakes work. So now you have them both pressed in. And what you want to do is go ahead like five miles an hour and then just put some thumb pressure on the brake pedal. Probably would help if I put it in drive first. That probably would help, it would. I'm, I'm certain that it would. Okay, now, go forward and hit the brake. Brakes work. That's how you do your brake test. I hope you people have found that little tidbit useful. I'm sure you guys ready to take your test will find it useful. Speed warning. Uh, I came through here before and I went to do my mandatory brake check and my truck wouldn't build air, which led me to believe it's probably obvious that if I would have went down this damn mountain without being able to build air in my truck, I wouldn't be here today to bring you this video. Slow down some more. I'm gonna put I'ma slow down to like 25 and set my cruise at 25. I should be going down this bitch at like 40 miles an hour. I don't give a fuck. But yeah, I couldn't build air on my truck. And it could have been a real bad situation. I called my uh, company's outside repair, and of course they sent out a tow truck. Tow truck came and got me. And dropped my ass off and uh the fuck was I? They dropped me off at a fucking a shop. While I was at that shop, that's when I recorded the videos answering viewers' questions. But yeah, it could have been a real bad situation. So, you guys, make sure that your brakes work. Make sure that your truck can build air. You don't want to know what will happen to your ass. 
you don't have air in your throat. And I'm gonna conquer this bitch today, though. He said maximum speed for trucks is 45. And my Ram McNally is reminding me of that. But I'm doing about a good 40, uh, yeah, about 40. I have a sign there saying two miles ahead that trucks can roll over if they're going too damn fast. I won't be doing any of that. It's foggy as hell. I hate the fact that you guys can't see this fog like I'm seeing it. It might not even be fog, it might be a cloud. Speed limit 45. My truck, it keeps trying to exceed the 40 that I wanted to stay at. <laughs> it's a hard headed bitch sometimes, man. Alright, we at 40 now. So we got two and a half more miles of this downgrade to deal with. It's only 7%. I haven't been on anything higher than 7%. I prefer not to. Shit. I don't know what Donner's past is set at. But it sounds like a nightmare. There's videos on YouTube of a truck doing a rollover. And it goes over the side of that motherfucker. The side of the mountain. Both it flips over the guardrail. Two guys were in it. So I heard. One was a, a trainer. And the other one was a trainee. The story goes that the trainer was in the back sleep and the trainee was cruising, going down Donner's Pass and then he had a uh, he had a little bit of road rage in him behind some white pickup truck so he decides to chase the white pickup truck down the mountain going at high speeds he got no business doing that shit at all and next thing you know little guy hits the brake you don't do that shit flying down the hill and going around no curves. You don't do that shit going around no curves at anyway, slamming on the brakes. But that's what he does. And subsequently, his ass rolls over. Flips over the guardrail on the right side. And it was a wrap. It looked real bad. Uh, I just want to know what that conversation was like when those two woke up in the afterlife. As if there is an afterlife. You know, they said that the shit was so bad, the destruction, that the only thing that they found were two pair of shoes. So I really wonder what that conversation was like when they woke up in the afterlife. Hell, hey, 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 motherfucker, what was you doing? You know, spazzing on them and shit. How the fuck we end up here? Just went to sleep, you bitch. So you guys really do need to be hella careful coming down these downgrades. And yeah, this thing is just going to keep reminding me about the speed warning. And I am going a little bit faster than I should be. I don't play no game. Like, shit say 45 going down the hill. I might be going at 40, man. 35, 40. Set my cruise again. Back to 40. It's going to 45. Into 37. I don't play that. I don't, I don't play that speed shit going down these hills, man. Even though my brakes appear to be good, anything can happen, man. Some prick might jump out in front of you, and I don't know. You have a panic attack. You swerve. I don't know, man. Anything can happen, man. So I don't play that shit. Right now I'm going at 44 miles an hour.
33, but I am going 40 miles an hour. Straighten it out a little bit. So I can mash the gas a little bit. Mash it to 45. This crew's at 45. I know that this damn downgrade isn't done. Talking to the pop pop.